the reason I got involved with the film project is I, li I lived here and I didn't know all the places and the people in the films. So I wanted to find out more and um, this was a great opportunity to explore that and just see if we could find out any information. And um, we certainly found out information, we certainly found out there's a lot more films around. So these films form an integral part in the history of Waikere and um, also show a period of time when the Waikere Filmo Club was actively making films in the area. Um, one of the movies was like The Chemist, 1951. I was born in 51, so it's interesting to see it and to recognise some of the older buildings from around here. This project has managed to bring to light during the SA History Month Festival a little known factor about an incredible group of people who documented their town. I'm really pleased with the way things have been going and um, the response from the people that have watched some of the films and finding their relatives and their, their friends and identifying people has been great. So it's been a lot of hard work, but it's well worth it. So. There's Mick Cook, Harry Sister, Ben Gale. Ben Gale. I was watching um, the bit about the Wakery packing shed and I was just trying to see if I could see my mum used to work there and my nana used to work there. People were incredibly generous and very alive and very um, open to talk about their stories and how things came along, our collection came along. You know, this is back when we had oh, this is great. parades, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. Look at the you street, look at the street there. Down the street. That's right, that's right. It's good fun. I'd love to know the dates on this. It was a bit like detective work, like trying to meet people, try to understand um, from bits and pieces of information actually what happened then and what kind of people were part of this film club. I went and had a further look in the, sh in the shed and I found the film, the running sheets that my father had. I also found the uh, prizes, the certificates he'd won with the prizes we'd won with his films. The beautiful thing about this project is that um, all these movies were going to go to the Adelaide to the museum because they're part of really the bigger history um, of this area. And it felt like as much as a documentation, but also really like an insight into personal life and how life used to be back then. I certainly have lots of memories from things like go-karts and uh, animals growing up as a, as a kid. And uh, I used to go water skiing a lot when I was, when I was young. So, so back in the, in the 70s? That was a, a hard process sometimes to decide what to keep and what not to keep. And it was quite, um, quite pressured, I think, for people you know, to bring all things from the, from the cellar and suddenly see all these films, really old 8mm films, translated into digital and be able to view them easily on a DVD without the need to have a specific camera. For those who don't know, my name is Julie Weber and I'm the chairperson of the Wakery History, uh, District History Society. So now we're just going to watch a bit of film, a bit of um, everyday life in the, in the Wakery, the carnivals, the swimming. I'm not sure what's on there because um, I haven't seen the final edit, but we've had a, a lot of work in through to work out what it was. Are you interested in the films? Yes, I have. Um, to me, I, I grew up, I was born in Wakery. To me, it brings back memories of the paddle boats when I was a child, I, I was on the river. Uh, last night, it was, it was interesting, and I was listening to the comments by others around me. I recognised faces. I could pick them out. In fact, I saw my husband's grandfather last night while watching. He was standing on the street watching one of the processions. When I knew that they were going to do this project about films, uh, it was a good opportunity for me to find out some of the names of the people on the film and also uh, I deal a lot with photographs. So it was really important that we had this project going and I think it's been very, very successful. It's got people talking about history. As we started off, we had some information and it's just all flooded in from every side and there is more that will come out of the woodwork. This has been great for us too. I didn't realise there were so many films out there that people had kept. 
wonderful. Yeah, it was really, really good and they put a lot of work into it and I could recognise a lot of my par my parents were there and uh, recognise a lot of the old faces that are not around anymore. And I would just like to relate some of the incidents that I remember about the massive flood in 1956. We wanted to do our part in flood mitigation, whatever we could undertake to do. And we were the fastest group of people getting bows to lay upon the flood bank that was made between the Wakery Oval and the Ramco Hill. I like family troubles um, and because I know the people that are still alive um, in it, um, I think that makes it, um, makes it special and um, that we've been able to explore a little bit and we played with that film just introducing them um, but you know I shouldn't I shouldn't probably have a favorite because my uncle great uncle was in the other three as the main star so um, he did a good job on those too so they're all good